Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and this is Parky's Shorts, a series which will allow me to play a variety of games on my channel recommended by you. Every one or two episodes I play a new game and if it gets brilliant response from you guys it may be played as a full series on my channel. Take a breath. <laughs> Today we're going to be playing Fez. Um, I don't know what to expect from this at all. Now a few of you recommended it to me, um, so I went ahead and got it. And I, I literally don't even know what it's about, I don't even know the genre or anything, so we're going in completely blind. Which is slightly disconcerting, but it's going to be good. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Else you wouldn't have recommended it, I'm sure. Right, okay, so let's start a new game. Apparently this does not use a mouse, so that's interesting. Right. Space. The final frontier. Of Fez. Maybe. Right, what the hell is this? Ah. Oh. Is this our bedroom? Oh, a little, little guy, how you doing? Oh. What the hell? Am I like flickering in and out of existence sometimes? That's a bit weird. Alright, whatever. What is this? Is there no context to this whatsoever? Why are we an old man with a cape and an eye out? <laughs> oh, look at that little duck! <laughs> um, it's maybe a seagull, actually. I'd, pff, whatever. My animal recognition isn't very good. Is that a dog with a walking cane? Yup. And some children frolicking. Lovely. Walk up to the mailbox. I know this isn't the mailbox. I was going to see if I could... Oh, is that a little caterpillar? Hello, little guy. <laughs> why, is, why is everything so cute? Okay. Dear Gomez, Gomez wasn't really the name I was expecting for this guy. Please meet me at the top of the village. I have something very important to tell you. Today is a special day, Giza. Roy, Giza, love. Right, okay. okay. Gomez, let's go Gomez. Let's go find Giza, which is the most ridiculous name I've ever heard. Okay, hold up whilst in the air to jump and hold onto ledges. Right, hello, sir. Can I interact with you? No, I cannot. Can I go in here? I can! Wow, okay. So there is a bit of interactivity. It's very endearing, isn't it? The uh, the graphical style of this. Is there like some sort of hidden puzzle thing in here that I need to do? Maybe I can go in this thing? No? Okay, then. Right. Let's leave this place. <laughs> What is the point of that? Okay, I'm sure it's just a little tutorial level, so it doesn't really matter. Hello, dog with a cane man. Okay, what was that? Locked doors require a key to open them. No shit. Press up and hold a direction to climb the vi vines. God, my reading is on par. Right, here we go. Hello, sir. Who are you? Can I punch you in the face? No, I cannot. What is this over here? Can I interact with mailboxes? No, I cannot. We can go in his house. Okay, now is there really much point in this kind of stuff? I assume not, because there's nothing we can actually do in these places. I'm also going to assume that as you get further into the game, um, obviously uh, these rooms are going to have some form of functionality, which would make a lot of sense. Let's go in here. It's probably a waste of time going in all of these, but we're going to find out. Hello! I like all of your... Oh, is this a school? Oh, what are they learning? Um, they're learning a cube graph. Right. <laughs> As you do. In fact, I think... Um, did I... I can't even remember if I'm... I, I remember when I was at school, learning graphs was one of the worst things I did in maths. I absolutely hated it, learning all the equations for it. Like, what was it for the... It was something for a circle in a graph, wasn't it? It was like... This is going to be completely wrong. Remember, I haven't been to school for like four years. Um, it was like R squared equals like something squared and plus something else squared or something. God, that was so descript I could teach maths. Yes. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at the constellations in the back of the sky. It's like a Lego block. A Tetris block, even. Okay, so there's obviously platforming in this, which is not one of my uh, fortes, to say the least. Hello, geezer. Ha! There you are! Left shift. Today is a special day, left shift. Adventure is ready. It's Gomez time, left shift. Dot, 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 left shift. Any time now, left shift. Just, you, you what? 
There you go. I don't even know what's happening. Is this some sort of portal of death? Or a portal of excitement, perhaps? I hope it's the second one. That'd be more of a fun time. Oh, look at his face. I'm as impressed as little Gomez is. Are you God? Oh, mighty rainbow cube, take me somewhere amazing. Gold cube. Right then. Okay. Yes, hmm. I see what you're saying here. Um, yes. Yup. Completely understood all of that. Thank you very much, gold cube of epic proportions. And now apparently I'm being taken away. Right then. Oh, I like this sort of um, pseudo, pseudo 3DS graphics. I think that's pretty cool. Yes, thank you, Cube. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh god, do not press enter. Right, uh, yeah, I still don't know what you're saying. Thank you very much. Sort of communicating something weird with me, no doubt. He wants to touch my bottom, that's what's happening. He's going, Gomez. You have a big white face with very pretty eyes. I want to touch your bottom. Oh no, he's bringing us the fez. This is why it's called fez. Fez is a cool <laughs> little reference. <laughs> if you get that reference, then la la la. What's wrong with me? I'm sorry. I just got back from work again, so you have to forgive me for being a bit of a derp. Ah, oh, so happy. Press A to D to change your perspective. Oh God. Oh wow, so we can actually like break the cube. I did not know that was going to happen. Interesting. We've glitched it all out. I'm liking the sort of mystery behind all of this. It's very cool. I'm assuming that's was supposed to happen. <laughs> In case this is a ve Oh dear. Yes. Best game. So now, are we going to start again? I am so confused right now. I'm not going to lie. Oh yeah, there's a little glitch that didn't happen the first time. So something else is happening. It's been reset. Maybe by the Fez. The Fez of almighty space power. And bottom touching gold cubes. Here we are. But this time I sent something different because we actually have our Fez. Oh wow, okay, this is interesting. So what we can now do... Oh, this is going to get confusing, isn't it? So we can now rotate everything. So I assume when you now go to the rooms, like the, the buildings in this... Oh god, okay, no, it wraps all the way round. Well, that made it much more interesting. And complicated. It's fine. Oh, a little rat. Right, so... <laughs> right then. Right. I, I assume we're going to collect these... Gomez. Something went wrong. I need your help. Batman, why are you here? I was sent to guide you. I am Dot. Where is she? The Hexatron has been fragmented. Shattered and scattered all over the world. You must restore it. Without it, everything will collapse. You have received a gift. A great secret has been revealed to you. There is a world beyond your village and dimensions beyond the ones you occupy. Where are you going, Dot? This door leads to the outside world, but for now it is sealed shut. The marking on it indicates that it won't open until you have collected at least one cube. There are many such doors in the world, each requiring more cubes than the last. To reach the end of this journey, you will need to find all 32 cubes. But first, you must leave this place. There are eight cube bits in this village, like this one right here. Together they'll form a full cube which you can use to unseal the door. Find them! God Dot, don't get so aggressive with me. So, quick recap. Shiny gold cubes, very important. Gotta find them all. Gotta catch them all! Golden cubes. Or else the universe collapses with you in it. No pressure. And remember, use DNA to change your perspective. Now get going. Thank you very much. So does Dot live inside me? Does he sort of just crawl inside my stomach? That's a bit worrying. So, we've got to get enough cubes for all of this stuff. 
So what I'm going to do is, oh god, I didn't mean to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to treat each side individually, which I'm sure is not really how it goes, but that's fine. I'm also interested to see whether, if we change the perspective in these rooms, we're going to find anything different. Ah! Let me through! Oh, there we go. Oh my god. A treasure chest! To open it, face it from the front and press left control. There we go, what are we going to find? See, I knew there'd be hidden things. A key. For that room that we didn't go in before. How interesting, you found a key, thank you. Keys can open any locked door, which can only be used once. I love Dot's very calm voice. I find it very comforting. Let's go out here. And we're going to go up here, aren't we, Dot? Except we can't, because for some reason... Oh, hang on. Look, we, we almost jumped behind something there. So maybe if we do this... Right. If we now go here, we can go around this side. Oh, and we can climb down. Look at this. Yes! Oh, but this goes to the door. Right, I get it. So, aside from that, I'm assuming... We have to go further up. Which is probably a good assumption to make. Unless we go in here. Which we can't. So instead... Oh, God! Uh, we're going to go in here. Oh, you can like sort of jump mid-air. Right, I'm learning. I'm learning indeed. Why can we not get up this place? I'm being such a derp right now, I can't figure this out. Oh god. No, Gomez! He just, like, face-planted. It's fine, he was made to do it. Oh look, we're supposed to jump on here and then here. You bloody fool. Fool of a talk! So now we can go in this place. God, this game, I'm sure, is going to make all of you rage. I mean, not the game, me playing it is going to make all of you rage. Ah, oh, happy face. What is this? You have found a treasure map. A map of what to wear. I don't know. Figure it out yourself. Okay, thank you very much. So what is here? Is there anything else here? Doesn't look like it. I really like this, actually. I'm sort of interested in doing maybe a full series. So if you're enjoying this, then please do tell me. It's been a while since I've done a little puzzle game, and I feel like I would like to do another one. Ever since doing, uh, what was it called? Oh, God, I can't remember now. Uh, I'm mechanical. I really enjoyed that, actually. So, yeah, I'm considering it, to say the least. And look, we can do this to get over here. Clever perspective. Did you see that? Yes, I'm using my brain. Well, there might be something in this house. God, I'll tell you what, the, um, the amount of time I'm spending in each level is quite worrying. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to get sick of it rather quickly. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, quite disorienting. Let's go in here, though, see if there's anything around. Hello. <gasps> oh, is that a cube? No. Okay, then. Whatever. Goodbye, what was it, whatever your name was. Oh, am I supposed to press up to look at the... Oh no, stop it! Okay, right, look, calm down. Everything's going wrong. It's the fez. It's, it's flustering me. Right. So let's do this quickly. We can't. Ah, so it shows you what's inside. I get it. I get it indeed. Right, so let's go up to the next level, see if there's anything here indeed. We've only found two bits. I'm slightly concerned that we're not going to find all of them in this one place. Which is a bit weird. Oh no, there's one here. Okay then. I like how you can tell your progress. I think that's really cool, actually. Right, so there's nothing in here of interest, so we can leave. But you do apparently have to go in each room, which is interesting. Okay, so we're going to jump over here, then we're going to jump up here, go in this room. See if there's anything in the different perspectives of here. Ah, which there is. Right, so what we can do is possibly jump on this one, and then this one, and then this one. There we go. Right, so let's get out of here, if I can. Was it shift down or something? Right, there we go. It's quite relaxing. I'm enjoying it. I'm doing a bit of a, you know, I'm, I'm not as hyper in this episode. I hope you don't mind. 
I'm feeling relaxed. I've had a long, hard day at work. I just want to play a nice little game for you guys, and that's what I'm going to do. What is this? You have to stand in front of it, don't you? So there we go, and then left shift. Ah, oh. ba da ba da ba da ba. Little key. Right. So now I assume we just go up again, without basically failing at the really simple jumping in this. If the jumping gets much more uh, difficult, I am probably going to cry, let's be honest, because I'm a big sap. So what's around here? Is anything good? We can possibly... I like how the music fades, actually, if, you, if you're if you not in sight. I think that's quite cool. So there was actually a hidden room here, which is something else we have to go into. So there we go. Got another part. Let's just check if there's anything else in here, because I do not trust this at all. Really cool little game, actually. I'm really pleasantly surprised. I think I might just finish this level before I end. Because, you know, we've got this far, we might as well. So we can jump over here. Now, what happens if we change the perspective? Okay. So we can jump here. So we need one more cube... No, two more cube parts. Not really sure where I'm going to get those from, if I'm honest. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, at least it resets you where you were. I think that's quite nice of them. Right, so let's just change the perspective here a little bit. I genuinely don't know what I've missed. I've probably, because I'm commentating, not very well I might add, because I've been commentating, I've probably missed something really obvious. I genuinely like... There's another key, isn't there? So what am I supposed to do with the key? Hmm. Maybe I should just go down here and just get it over with. Oh, God. Maybe not, though. Maybe not the best idea. But there's no door here unless the door opens when I come down here. Unless I do this. Oh, no. I need to get all the parts. Oh, good. Well, that's lovely. Let's go back up here. Ah, I obviously missed this room. Okay, so there we go. I think that's now the full cube. Wonderful. There we go. Super happy. Ah. Ah. Achievement unlocked. Get a cube. You did it. Now you can unseal the door. Let's go. Thank you very much, Dot. This game is so relaxing. It's the music. Is it weird that the music kind of reminds me of like the old Rayman games? Is that a weird thing to say? It probably doesn't sound like it at all, but... For some reason, that's what it reminds me of. It's good to know that we can't die. We can die infinite amounts of times, and it's fine. Little, what, what's this face? Little Wiggle doesn't care. Little cheesy, cheesy what's it? Yes, whatever. Fez man. Gomez, that's it. Right, so let's go around here. And then we can go here. Wonderful! The door is unsealed. Are you ready to begin your adventure? <laughs> God. Okay. Right, well, this seems like a good place to end it. Hey, listen. Very funny. If uh, you enjoyed the episode, then please feel free to leave your support in the comment section below. If you want to see some more of this very relaxing and slightly confusing game, then please feel free to leave uh, your support in terms of ratings as well. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. And suggest other games that you'd like me to play in this series. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.